And we are back. No claymores included in this packaging. No, we just uh, recently had a Death Road to Canada episode go live. Well, it'll be probably a little bit later than this episode goes live, but I lost my claymore and I'm still to this day sad about it, even though it was like three weeks ago probably at this time. This goes live. Oh man, the pain and anguish you had during that was just immense. Somebody's like, one minute, 30 something seconds in, he's like, that's the most real what the fuck I've ever heard anyone shout. <laughs> Legit rage. <laughs> okay, now I remember this guy. Good morning, everyone. We are at the mercy of the stars, and none can say how soon they'll shine for us again. Let us recover for a while at the Moonlight of Cove and decide how to proceed. I think we should just not leave here and just stay up here for the next liberation, right? And just get it done with. I think we should too. Why do we have to leave? Why can't we just stay here? Here is so great. Yeah, I mean, look at There's it. Look how trees beautiful it is. Cover. It's just gorgeous. The real estate is to die for. Bide. Your bide time. Your oh, wow. Well, he's actually having us do that. He's just having us bide our time. I hope we don't actually leave. I hope we don't either. Best make yourselves comfortable as po make yourselves as comfortable as possible here, Nightwings. The rights ought to commence again before we know it. Yay! I fucking hope so. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, I mean, because didn't the uh, didn't the oh nice yes we could just wait perfect oh, yeah. because last time uh, the rights with the chastity were interrupted by his old friend yeah do you remember. I forgot about um, that. And then uh, the guy who was the announcer was like, I'm done with this, blah, blah, blah. This is a blasphemy against the rules. He's like, I'm out. And then he just never said anything again. It's like, what? I don't remember if he actually showed up for the liberation rite, but that's where the chastity reappeared. And they never quite told us what happened other than yeah. the chastity cheating. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how this game pans out. Um, it was probably not the best idea for a Let's Play, but I'm still glad we went through it. It's been fun to like figure out character voices and really kind of push our range yeah. with that stuff. It's been definitely a test in that regard. We still have a lot to learn, I believe, and can get better, but it's been a lot of fun. For this game? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, in terms of like getting better voices and whatnot. Oh, fuck yeah, 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 we're, we're two hacks. Yeah, like... we are We are two hacks. <laughs> we are two hacks that could still hack away a little bit better, though. Yeah, at our vocal cords, get the shit <laughs> actually lined down. <clears throat> yeah, and try and remember characters over time. That's, oh, I think, the most that's difficult. That's hard, too, yeah. That's the most difficult part, is remembering the tone you make. Sometimes you'll do a character and be like, wait a minute. How do I do that thing again? Well, it's like easy for, not easy, but I mean like it's easier for like Valfred or yeah. or Hedwin or something like that. But when it's like, shit, what was this person's voice? We haven't seen them in like 16 episodes. Yes. Like, holy fuck, I can't even, chapter revealed afterward. Yeah, this is the end of the game. Yeah, nice. It's we finally get to see the ending. It's hard to remember like, oh shit, I haven't seen that motherfucker in forever. Yeah, no <clears> kidding. <throat> One cold evening, Valfred finds you off on your own, fapping. <clears throat> well, my boy. It's time once more. Come and see. How can you see the stars if it's fucking snowing? Walford indicates the sky, and through the snow, you can see that he is right. Pretty hard. You got a good vision to see through snow. Yeah. Soon all of your companions are gathered. Walford regards the group in a steady manner. As you all know, I have refrained from participating in the rites myself. This was a long-held choice of mine for a variety of reasons. Yeah chief among those reasons is so that I might direct our plan. <laughs> Free from unwanted attention, both from our adversaries here and those who would oppose us in the Commonwealth. So I guess the Commonwealth maybe watches the games? I guess so. Maybe it's entertain with them, like mm, almost yeah. like the Colosseum from Rome. Maybe. Another reason is my past experience conducting the rites it did not end on the best of terms. Yeah, we kind of got that from last time, Wilfred. Don't, don't pay attention to my past, though. We're not going to talk about it. I'm just going to ramble on. Just go to sleep. Don't pay attention. <laughs> Before my time, the Nightwings compromised three exiles, Brighton, Irsa, and Ulrich. Little Tizo was with them as well, still learning in their ways. Oh, so okay. Brighton looks like a woman, but it's probably a man. I think it's a dude. It's probably a dude. I think it's a dude. I think it's a dude. A former exile is a nightwing, so you can dead the bats alongside Wolfred Norodek. Oh, she kind of looks like, uh, almost looks like Sandra a little bit. Because yeah, that bit. desaturated, it looks like maybe they had the same color scheme. She looks like a badass. Yeah, we, we fought him already. Actually, I think we fought all of them. Have we? Yeah, well, I mean, it was Orelec, uh huh. that we saw in the talk. But I th when we fought him and the team, there was two other people there. I'm just going to assume they're Brighton and uh, other guy. Yeah. 
After Brighton regained his freedom in the Liberation Rites, the Nightwings took me in. A story for another time, but for one thing, I had capacity to read the ancient book. Okay, I guess I take that back then. Brighton wasn't with him because he was liberated. <laughs> I guess not. Anyway, when next we earned our way into the Liberation Rite, Ulrich was anointed for return. He had long been in exile and his horns were beginning to show. Mm. We prevailed. Little Tizo snuffed the accuser's pyre, thus Ulrich earned his freedom. However, just as the shimmering pool was to engulf him, Erisa, she shoved him in from the shoved him from the precipice and took her freedom in his stead. I didn't know that shit was possible. Oh shit! Yeah, fucking Arisa. betrayal. Look at her. She doesn't look like a betrayer at all. No, look at that smirk. <laughs> she perished, of course. Oh. Only the anointed can transcend the shimmer pool, but she thought the warnings were just a myth and paid the price. She was always restless. Jesus, man. Where to fuck over your team? I presumed Ulrich to perish too. To survive a fall from Mount Yodelehihu, I was left alone. Subsequently, I made no attempts to reassemble the Nightwings, knowing that such treachery, such harm was even possible as part of this ordeal. At what point did he get pushed off though? Like from what we've seen I from think, where they liberate, <clears throat> there's nothing else around. I think it's like, there's like a cliff, but we can't see it. It's like basically a little pointy cliff at the top. So mm. if they pushed him off, he'd fucking, uh, yeah. Mufasa'd him. Yeah, Mufasa. <laughs> no, father! <laughs> Goodbye, <clears throat> Orlick. I frankly still do not hold Arisa entirely at fault for what transpired. What? You know? I hold instead the Commonwealth responsible for it put us in this desperate situation. Okay. And I resist the urge to think the rights may be partly to blame as well for pitting brother against brother and sister against sister. It makes kind of sense, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Valford breathes a deep sigh. He's kind of right. It's them who put him there. But also, we don't know why the Commonwealth is doing this. Well, I mean, supposedly they're exiles and they've done bad deeds. Yeah. So, I mean, like... Is it justified? Is it not? We're not entirely sure, because we haven't been given too much backstory for these people. Yeah. These people. Now I see Ulrich yet lives. At a time when our plan is already in motion. And even the stars are fading. Perhaps a signal that the scribes themselves know that the night wings are divided, and that they do not approve. I think the night wings are more together than ever. I mean, considering... I guess they still count um, Ulrich... Oh. And since he's off on his own fighting against the rest of the Nightwings, that's what he's, I think. So you guys need to either implying. liberate him or kill him. Something like that. If you can actually <clears throat> die. But I chose to take it as a sign that we must act. The scribes have put us in a set of circumstances where each one of us may rise to the occasion. Mm -hmm. The Nightwings in our plan need all the help that they can get. And so I have made a decision which I wish to announce here to you all. <laughs> I'm getting liberated yeah. next. <laughs> yeah. In the name of the Nightwings, and reader by your leave, I will get down the rights again. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, we get a new team member. Yeah. Long have my skills languished in that matter. Oh, no. I admit, although I trust, I shall regain them soon enough. Oh, no. Is he going to, like, fail on purpose or something? Uh, I don't know. While I once vowed to never conduct the rites again, our present situation calls for all resources to be brought to bear. So, if I may be of use during these rites to come, I shall avail myself. Hmm, interesting. That is all. Now then, a reader shall determine where we are headed. Come first light. Uh, back up to the top. We're not leaving. Fawford bows his head to everyone while the others exchange looks, then one by one salute him in turn. I, uh... <clears throat> Welcome in back to the ranks! What about my other options? <laughs> Once more... Oh, roster bio. Oh, yeah, he actually is in there. Once more do several stars shine bright in the night sky, revealing several paths for you to pursue towards salvation. Yeah, we have to go back down the fucking hip mountain. Down the mountain but we I, go. But I assume that once we get back up to the top, it will be done. I would think so. Because we'll have already gone through everyone at least once. Yes. You know, why would they do it multiple it times? It would be a bit weird. Plus, it's kind of a cool twist. I, I appreciate that they changed it up a little bit, you know? Let's see. I know we were bad mouthing that. before, and we we're like, God, guys, this is getting really oh, like we by Joel Murray, yeah. repeating. 
or if mm. I goal again. Well, let's check the stats. Let's check the, the Y with the planner and see who we can take down. So if we took him down, it would Pan go. Pamitha and, and the dissidents, yeah. They're the top thing, but these are right behind him too. So if we take them down a notch, they'll never get out. Which one did we... Uh, these guys are pretty tough. Which one, yeah, I was gonna say, which ones do we have the most trouble with? I think definitely we need to get rid of Pamitha because she can fly. Yeah, well, we can't fight her right now. We only have three oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We only can fight Dalbert. Oh, fuck them. We can fight Barker. Yeah. And we can fight... Sir Deluge. Uh, let's go with Parker then. Fuck okay. it. Alright. Jomer's Dusk Star, let's get in there. <clears throat> That's the fucking bowling ball coconut crap. <laughs> the scorpions. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, sorry. I hiccuped. <clears throat> you are to face the dissidents again, led by the Kerr card. Call, uh, called Barker Ashpaws. I believe you first confronted them soon after my awakening. I understand they caused much trouble in the past. Barker, he's a troublemaking girl who thrills in the defeat and the triumphants who stand against him. He also gets really angry when you like hit him <clears> in the <throat> ship for some reason. Like, <laughs> Actually, no, that was the other guy. That no, was, was the uh, was that was the demon Bar dude. Oh, the demon was the second time. Barker was the first one. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. He then shares with you what he has heard about your next opponent. Ah, fuck! Barker Ashpaws, a volatile cur who's pack. The dissidents conduct the rites much more, or much, ah, conduct the rites more so for thrill than freedom. I love Barker. Back on the other side, Barker never quite took to the culture of the Commonwealth and often ran afoul of the law for various acts of boorishness and vandalism. He always promised to go straight, and in time he found a certain niche, for he was an accomplished hunter. And the people of the Commonwealth did have an appetite. Barker relished the hunt more than anything and spent his earnings on a variety of questionable things. Like choker chains. <laughs> you gotta say, that's a pretty sick fucking collar. It is pretty good. <clears throat> One particularly, uh, particularly raucous evening, Barker was caught relieving himself on the foot of the statue of the Arch Justice, Arch Justice Ar Androbel the... Is that uh, Andrew sixth? Bell's the fourth. Fourth? Yeah, fourth. And that was the end of his citizenship. Grand Judge, who in 1617 AS issued a decree prohibiting literacy and the answers to growing... In answer to ungrowing rest, growing <laughs> unrest. That's a that's a very punk, bad, uh, Barker thing to get caught for. Yes. Fucking peeing in, in public. <laughs> in the downside, he caught the <clears throat> notice of the dissidents who observed his speed, ferocity, and fearlessness. He soon became the best of them. Barker's reputation grew among the exiled curs of the Jomir Valley region, where he is feared and unafraid of taking what he wants. This Barker Ashpaws is motivated to prevail at any cost. So best deal with him with caution. Anyhow, let us resume our travels at daybreak. Rest well until then, reader. You wish the lone minstrel a restful evening in turn. It is too late to take flight, though you tom uh, though tomorrow you can press on. <sighs> I had that like, not a hiccup, but I had like that like burp ready, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh good, I, it's hard to talk. <laughs> He's back. Oh, is that oh, actually him? Wow. Oh, bam. Well, he is that judge, dude. Look at He's got the stupid judge hair. Yeah. Oh, no. It's, it's getting interesting. No. Never. What, come on. I've never done anything bad in my life. Yeah, we didn't push him off the cliff. I'm as sinless as a baby's bottom. <laughs> you rise after a fitful night of slumber. Somehow, the voice, which I guess is him, uh, which thus far has reached you only in the riots, has found its way into your sleep as well. You shake free of it. Described something, something. The uh, time at Moonlight Alcove has made everyone restless. The group is eager to set forth at your command. Really? Really? Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm guessing he's referring to Valfred. Well, yeah. Yeah, he's the traitor. Unless... That's what we're just led to believe. Ho oh, ho ho! Soaring far above Sclorian shore, you notice Pamitha gazing down at the frozen cliffs below. Mmm, Pamitha. That damned place down there. At, uh, I like it at least of all. I think, among everywhere we've been, I'm thankful there's no been, or that. Ah, I'm thankful that there's been no reason to return. Yeah, you imagine a bird wouldn't like the cold. Yeah. Reminds me of my home is all. The high wind remains, remnants. Uh, we all grew accustomed to the thinner air amid the cliffs that breached the clouds above your commonwealth. Oh damn, it's even higher than the commonwealth. Yeah, because they're not from it. <clears throat> 
But it was not the nicest place. Little wonder that my sister settled for a rather warmer base of operations in this land there, by the nest of Triesta. Anyway, I'm pleased to have spent a little time as possible near here. Let's fly on by and go about our business. Goodbye, Pametha. What, what was that? What was that up there? What the, what the hell is that? What the fuck is that? What the hell did you just hit? He's one of those like little Tizo things. <laughs> no. I just saw it fluttering around. I'm like, okay, what the hell is going on over here? As the wagon soars across the skies above Waking Wood, you notice Volfred appears lost in thought. You cannot sense straight away what he is thinking. He's thinking of nothing. <laughs> That's you, Volfred. Do not mind me, reader. It is simply that being here in this vicinity, it brings back a lot of memories and gives me much to ponder. Why is he pondering now and not back up at the top of the mountain where all the shit happened? Mm. I hid within those woods for many years, making preparations for our plan. I cast aside my raiments and became untraceable. There I waited for the plan to germinate. So it means a lot now to be here above the place, that place at last. I think we need more commas in that sentence. Quite the view, <laughs> wouldn't you say, my boy? Goddamn Volfrid. What is with all these little people? Being sneaky. I think this was all the stuff we got to do earlier, but we we uh, either passed through or yeah. were not available for us, depending on it what we It almost feels went. like they allow, they didn't do it now. Like they're just there with all the different people and teams. It's almost like, you should have been able to fight these guys to level up. Well, I think it was based off our decisions, which yeah. way we got to go and what it is. So now we're looking at it and going, man, there's all these places. Now that we're like getting close to the end of the game, there's like, we didn't get to do this or this place or what is that? And you get really like excited about it. Which one is the one we want? Since you're usual presence here, bearing word of your adversary. Hey, we're going to fight them no matter what, but I think I want to see what Blue Hive has in, has some store for us. Yeah. Wait, why is it snowing here? It was supposed to be arid. Oh, and deserty. I just now realized it. In spite of having checked earlier, you realize the black wagon suffered some damage in one of its wheels. It's probably that fucking Tiza thing you hit. Probably. Edwin is already working on repairs, but not having much luck. Well, that's not good. I could use all the help I can get with this blast thing. Hours later, the wheel is fit for travel again, although fixing it seems to have taken a toll on him. No! No, Edwin! Damn it. Call it a day. He gets no hope. We have to use, on our I think we pretty much have to use them next time, huh? Probably. The Spring of Jumu. That's where we're fighting them. Yes, what are the downsides? Dun, 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 How many people dun, do we dun, have dun, left? Dun. Five? Four? Five? With, yeah, with five. With Volfred left? Yes, because we yeah. have Volfred, the Snake Lady, and then our... Oh, Bertrude, that's right. I think we still have Bay, too. We might have six. Yeah. The black wag or the wagon comes to a sudden stop after a near miss with someone or something that got right in its path. At first, you see no sign of whomever, whomever or whatever it was, but then... Ugh. A voice rings out from off the side of your path. You know what? I think that's Falconer on. The Might friendly be. yet somehow aggravating tone leaves little room for question as to who it is. Oh. Yes, it is! Hey guys, uh, so, well, what are you doing here? It's really, really cold. Isn't this supposed to be a fucking desert? Like, I brought a nice hat and everything to keep myself nice and cool, but <laughs> shit, I should have brought a coat. So, uh, you guys gonna buy more shit? You, gonna, you almost scared dad half to death when you ran him over. <laughs> but it's good to run into you like this because I got a real special deal for you. So we get some pretty old stuff here on hand. It's been a little bit slow for us, but to be completely honest, something about him, I don't know, but dad just hasn't been himself lately. It's probably but fucking snow. once we open the shop wide, these little numbers, they're gonna fly off the shelves. <laughs> and you can have the first dibs. All you gotta do is lift it, cause you know you're headed to the spring of Joma, right? Just drop by in there when you got a chance, okay? Bye. The Black Wagon does not provide you with uh, the most spacious accommodations, but it may have room enough for Falcon Ron. Barely. At least for the short remainder of your trip. On the other hand, you sense a troubling energy from whatever strange artifact he is transporting right now and wonder whether you should get involved. Oh shit, he's like black market now. Uh, how about we decide next time? Yeah, next time. Next time, guys, be Bapu. I'm kind of curious I kind of if, he hasn't, if he hasn't been just fucking hitching a ride on the black wagon already, because he yeah, keeps no getting kidding. around. Oh, shit, they're about to take off. Quick, Dad, yeah. jump! That thud is just him falling off as oh. soon as we landed. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. He's been with us like a slug stuck to the bottom of the wagon. <laughs>